All right, so back in the day, we were all asked one question. No, I'm not talking about the, who's your girlfriend or boyfriend? I'm talking about the, what do you want to be when you grow up? I used to be want to be, I used to want to be a police officer. Not anymore. <laughs> Today, I'm here to share about my career choice, and I want to become a computer network architect. Uh, I've researched the topic, and my dad's in the field, and he's taught me a lot of programs like Python and IPv4 and 6. Um, IP stands for Internet Protocol, and the V6 before it stands for version 4 or 6. So today I'm here to tell you about the day in the life, the salary, and the education of computer network architects. So firstly, I'm going to talk about the job description and what you could expect. So it's a 9 to 5 job, it's 40 hours a week, most of the time you're sitting at your desk working on problems, considering networks and designing new networks, physical and on the computer as well. Um, for those who don't know, don't know what a network is, a network is what a computer connects to to communicate with other computers. So their job is just to build and design the communication networks and understand what a business needs for, um, to, so they can design the right network. Nextly, I'm gonna talk about the salary. So as of February 2020, the range of the salary is between 79,000 and 156,000, the median being 121,000. And with this career, it's more experience equals more money. So with one to four years of experience, it's around 88,000. And with five to 20 years of experience, being 100,000 plus. So also where you are located in the United States does matter as well. So in New York, New York, architects earn an average of 24.3% more than the national average. And then in Atlanta, Georgia, architects make an average of 19.1% less than the national average. And then nextly, I'm going to talk about the education you could expect to need. So you need a bachelor's degree in some sort of computers like computer science, computer engineering, CIT, stuff like that. And certifications are also very important. And one of the major ones that they look for are Cisco certifications, which has levels. So there's an entry level, there's an associate level, a professional level, and an expert, and an architect. So you never really stop learning with this career. It's just always learning how to develop new networks, stuff like that. And recently I talked to my general manager at McDonald's. His name is Lucas, and he is going into the field of computers. And he's currently going towards Cisco certifications, and he said that it is extremely important for certifications for this job, and it looks extremely good on a uh, resume. So I hope you've learned quite a bit about a computer network architect and what they do. Uh, today I told you about a day in the life, the salary, and the education. Thank you. Are there any questions? servers, make things faster, you know, I just want to update <laughs> stuff, you know. Will you make my house Wi-Fi faster than I have to work at I, I will, yeah, sure. <laughs> I can, I can do that. All right, thank you, Andrew. Okay, thank you.